Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today, we are here for unboxing slash almost first impressions from a new release from the house of Versace, and this one is Versace Eros Flame. Now, the reason why I say that this one is an almost first impression because a subscriber sent me like a small decant of this one a few months ago but i have no idea where it is i did like an unboxing of another fragrance talked about that one and i really have not smelled it since then so i wanted to share this with you they gave me a call big b b we got this one in them so i went and picked it up and uh now here man here to talk to you guys about it now I know some of you people out there are giving me a lot of problems about what I said about the original Eros, about that it's dated. And obviously Versace felt the same way because they came out with another one. Just my personal opinion on that, all right? Now, who knows? It might have already been in the works, but I said it was dated and it came out with another one. I'm telling you, I'm smart. Now, if we think back to it, the original Versace Eros, I think was released back in 2012, 2013, something like that. And now, here in 2019, or let's say late 2018, because he said it to me months ago, and I'm pretty sure it was released across seas uh, months ago. So, let's say late 2018, obviously here in the U.S., early 2019, uh, we have a new formulation. Now, <clears throat> let's crack this thing open. Let's see what it's about. Now, one, I must say that I like the presentation on Flame a lot better. Why? Because my red's my favorite color. If you can't tell, red is my favorite color. Some people said, are you blood? Well, red's my favorite color. Don't ask me no questions like that. Presentation on Eros Flame is pretty similar to what we come to see in Eros. That one was a blue bottle or the Crip bottle, and this one is red or the blood bottle. Now, to my personal opinion, I like this one better. Now, what I remember from smelling the sample, the decant that I got from the subscriber is this. His name escapes me at the moment, and I wish I knew what it was. That this one, in my opinion, oh, let's see the spray. Oops. <laughs> spray that tree. All right. <clears throat> In my personal opinion, the original Eros was better suited for like fall and winter. And this one, in my personal opinion, is going to be better suited for year-round usage. On that first spray, I get a lot, a lot more citrus than you got in the original. It opens up with this citrus top and it has this woody, spicy, sweet mid and base and i think it's dope man i think that this one is a nice release from the house and something that's that's been needed for a while like it's been so long since they've come out with something like can't even remember like anything else of importance <laughs> that they've come out with in a while and i think this one is dope now personally i haven't seen any of the marketing efforts or campaigns on this one yet so it's going to be interesting to see how they push this fragrance i think with the Citrus opening this one could be sprung again in the spring and summer But because of how it transitions down to the mid and the base Then it could also work in fall I don't know if this is going to be a great winter fragrance, but I think it could also work in the fall It has this spiciness to it some pepper for sure Maybe some amber and tonka in this one so it'll be interesting to see how they swing it I think that this one can definitely work in the springtime and probably one that they will push for some marketing efforts right now obviously they're releasing it here in the late winter early spring you should see this to start hitting your local stores here soon and just to give you an idea of, of what this one smells like um, you got citrus woods sweetness amber tonka pepper I like it what are your thoughts I like it, she loves it. Do you want some more of it? Um, I think this is a solid fragrance, man. Great release from the house overall. And probably um, if we look in terms of designer releases that I have gotten in my possession thus far in 2019, I'm gonna say this is the best one so far. Now I haven't gotten a ton of designer releases for 2019 yet. So like take that with a grain of salt. But I think a lot of you guys and girls out there will like this one. And I will get you a, a full review out on this one as soon as possible. Again, nice presentation, nice fragrance from the house. And we will see if it will dethrone Eros, the original Eros in some of you guys' mind out there. Now again, I said what I said about the original Eros and I'm sticking to it and hopefully the release of this fragrance uh, 
helps you get on Team Big Beer B. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beer B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Do you have this one in your local stores? If so, have you smelled it? If you smelled it, comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. As always, I need you to hit the goddamn bell. Thank you.